it's Adele Vosro. Ooh! Oddly, it's one of the first of the original haul that I started working on, but it's the last one for me to finish up. This collection of rejects has given me hours of fun and frustration. I'm sure I'm going to be playing with these puppies some more, but this guy rounds out the list. Along the way, I've learned a lot about using my cell phone as a camera, editing videos, creating music for such videos, and resurrecting computers. And of course, using this guide to clean out the filthy systems. In its original state, it wasn't very interesting. It had a low-end dual-core processor and 4 gigs of memory, and no hard drive. From my online research, I found it could take more memory and a faster processor with a BIOS update. Reflashing a BIOS can be tricky, especially on older machines. It was not my first attempt at flashing a BIOS, but I sure had to work at it. After trying some old school methods, I finally got success and went from BIOS 1.0.5 to 1.016. Yay! This allowed me to upgrade the CPU from an Intel Core 2 E4500 clocking at 2.2 GHz to an Intel Core 2 E8400 at 3.0 GHz. The old CPU got reused to upgrade the Dell 745, which became the dirt cheap DAW. Originally, the Vostro was going to become the Dirt Cheap DAW, but the stock POS power supply in the Vostro blew, and the video card went bad. So the Vostro got put on the back burner for a while, until I had more time and money to replace the power supply. I'm not messing around anymore. I got this Corsair CX-550M when it went on sale. Overkill? Maybe. But I'm not messing around with some cheap power supply. And I upgraded to 8 gigs of RAM. Since it's DDR2 memory, I got it cheap on eBay. Unfortunately, I didn't have much left in the budget for video cards. We'll go with this NVIDIA 730 GT, which I got from an EVGA scratch and dent sale. Although with a better video card, I could push this up as a low-end gaming rig, but I think I'd need a quad-core system for that. Still, on the hardware side, this is the most powerful box obtained out of the hall. With a lot of older computers, the onboard audio system is okay, but noisy. Using an old Soundplaster type card brings down the noise level a bit. I originally installed a refurbished 320 gig Western Digital hard drive and installed Xubuntu 18.04. I've modded it with a low latency kernel and added my standard audio programs. It works okay, but it's a little pokey. But 240 gig SSDs are cheap now. So yeah, let's upgrade this puppy. Usually I take Xubuntu and customize it with my own audio programs. I've kept that on the hard drive, but I decided to try out Ubuntu Studio 20.04 on the SSD, giving me a dual boot system. Some of the benefits of using Ubuntu Studio is that you automatically get the low latency kernel, you get lots and lots of audio, video, and media programs pre-installed. I could do a comparison between customizing a stock Linux system and going with Ubuntu Studio, but that's for another video. Since this was going to be an audio machine, I replaced the dirt cheap DAW with the Vostro. The Dell 745 was pretty good at doing audio work, but it did have some fan noise. With only a mediocre video card and a dual core processor, it's a bit of a potato. However, with 8 gigs of RAM, an SSD, and a modern operating system, it's great to experiment with 
and can be put to work as a light production machine. It's good for voiceovers, doing music notation work, and for creating scratch tracks in LMMS. LMMS works fairly well on older machines if you stay away from virtual instruments. They take up a lot of CPU power. In fact, I did this entire video using the old Vostro. At last I've covered all of the systems from the original hall, and I've put some of them back into use. Almost all of them have been useful in one way or another, and they were all great learning experiences. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay curious.